What is up guys, Austin Richo here, bringing you another Mighty Morphin Collection. This time we have the special Target exclusive Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord um, special, I don't know exactly what to call it, special Nerdist edition version of the Megazord. So this is a Tokyo vinyl, which uh, I wish I could fit in, but you can see the Tokyo vinyl logo in there. We've got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo up there. Then down here it says, made by Bandai, Mighty Morphin P Megazord. So it's the Dino Megazord, consider that, with the Nerdist team up. And so this is a special Megazord, as you can see. It looks like the Megazord from the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Dino Megazord, as I mentioned. We with, so it's all different recolored here. It's black or black. <laughs> I always get colors blue and red. I'll get them spit out properly. Blue and red color here with the Nerdist logo right on the chest. Of course, the viewing window for the Rangers where they sit in the Zor and everything. But it's got the Nerdist logo right on the front of it. And so this is a just, you know, a special vinyl figure. It's a 9-inch figure, which I thought was really cool. And it's a Target exclusive. It's released for the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers. And so it was a part of their 25 on 25. So every... Of the 25th of every month they release um, new like things about exclusive uh, Power Ranger or anniversary related figures and stuff and so this was one um, released at Target and I was able to pick it up I just kind of stumbled across it like I had saw it on the 25 on 25 thing and then I stumbled across it on the Target app and so I thought I'd pick it up and so there's a cool picture of it there on the side and they blew in the red um, which looks really cool but here on the back we'll look at it so of course there's the Megazord design which we will be taking out of the box there's just not a whole lot to look at here but there's is some information down here so um, I don't think I, yeah I can fit in there I'll try and read this without messing up too much but it says to celebrate the Power Rangers 25th anniversary Saban Brands and Nerdist teamed up with Bandai in the first of its kind collaboration for this limited edition Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Dino Megazord design created by acclaimed Japanese vinyl artist Tuma I think is how you say it with the team at Nerdist the stylized modern design features sharp angular sculpting with oversized forearms and hands to make this a true Tokyo pop art statement. The crew at Nerdist helped blend original Megazord nostalgia with standout, mo with standout modern style by influencing it with one of the kind Nerdist aesthetic. So again, we got the Nerdist logo there. The design by, this says Tumari, where they say Tuma or something, but there's the logo there for that. And then the Megazord, of course, made in China and Saban and all that sort of stuff teamed up to make this. So this is a just a cool little figure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything. I wouldn't think so. I think it's just a final figure that stands there and everything but let's go ahead and get it out of the box to look at it in more detail so i did just want to point out before we start the nice artwork here on the back so i like how this like gray design with the red and it's got some logos or design stuff there on the side with the nerdist logo there in the back i thought that was cool this is just the back of the packaging for the zord that it sits in so here we've got the Megazord, so I'll take it out from there, but I just thought that looked really cool. So here is the Megazord out of the box, and this is definitely different than I expected. I really like it, so it's not like bad or anything. Let me see if I can adjust the camera here. There's a little bit better shot, I guess, of it. Um, so it's much different than I thought because it does have movement on it. I figured it's just, you know, like a statue type figure so it didn't move or anything but this looks super cool so we're starting off here we'll go ahead and start off with the face here so it's got some different designs so it's got this like uh pale like teal color like it's not shiny or anything it's just like like a flat color of teal so it's around the face here around all of um this design here which of course we'll talk about the zords and stuff of course we got that here that's formed out of the tyrannosaurus rex and so we got that face there so we got the eyes the red eyes there then in here so we've got a lighter blue color but it's more of a metallic blue um and so i like that mixture of like the teal color with the metallic blue i really like that then we got a metallic spine here um of silver on the top for the um, head then I can't really fit it in but the horns here that come up but these are like giant oversized horns again still off the t-rex and everything and I like that red engraving on the inside and everything then go down we've got the front chest plate here that is the pterodactyl and so again the viewing part here that the rangers sit in has the nice red with the nerdist logo on it there but again it continues that teal color all the way through the body here it's like all of the t-rex which you can see here on the back and everything We've got this part, of course, that is the T-Rex's tail folded up, and then the guns that are part of the Mastodon um, that are off of the mat, or they go along with the Mastodon in some way and stuff, a part of its guns for when it's in the uh, carrier mode or whatever you want to call it. Um, so the gun's there, a part of that, so it looks really cool. Um, then we'll move on to the arms here. So we've got the arms that, of course, do form from the uh, Mastodon. So I like the red, so it's got, again, like this 
bright red, which again is the same color as like this um, chess piece here, but the bright red, and then it goes into a darker red, which then does this whole fade out design again into this um, lighter blue color, but it's just the, it's the same color as this, just not metallic, so it's just a flat color. So then we got the design here from the Mastodon legs and everything. And then going down, we do have um, some black connecting pieces in between for the arm stuff. But then we got the like gauntlet here, again with that red fading into the blue. We got a silver um, little circle there. And then the hand, which is the nice bright red color. Again, I really like the look of that. Um, which we can go and look at some of the movements over shoulders. It does have shoulder movements, so it does twist around at the shoulder. So you can move the hands all the way around there like that. And then the um, right at like the, I guess you'd call it the wrist up here, whatever, it does twist around to you. So you can pose it and everything. So that's pretty cool and the head does twist too so you can move the head around and everything so then on this side we have the exact same arm design so we don't really have to look into it and stuff but it's the same design it's got all the same movements and everything there then we got the cutout of course piece for the mastodon as well where the arms fold up and everything um, looking at the back I like how it continues on with that design with the red into the blue we got the Nerdist logo with the Nerdist um, labeled back there um, then we'll just look at, I guess, flip her back around to the front here. Then we got going down into the waist. Again, can you want that light blue and the red? I really just like those colors mixed together. Going into legs, we got more connecting black pieces. And then we've got the feet, which again do have movements there. What I guess you'd call like the knees and stuff. No waist twist or anything, but there at the knees, you can twist these around too. So here we've got this saber tooth tiger. Again, instead of yellow, it's all the blue color. And then we got the triceratops, which again is blue, but just different color blue. But I like the red on top of it with the design. So like on here, we've got the um, three horn, uh, three prong design there, of course, fits with the triceratops of the three horns. And then the two prong design for a saber tooth with the two saber teeth sticking there out on the front. I like because the eyes, the nose, and the ears and stuff, and then of course the eyes and um, horn, the little mouth there, and everything for the triceratops, and then you can flip them around and see their wheels and stuff, of course, which just usually normally has the head fold down and the legs fold down and stuff. Same for both these, and you got the treads on this one, like the tank treads in this one, the rollers and everything, which look really cool. So that is really cool, and I like I said, I like how it does have the movement. I was not expecting any movement at all in this thing, but I do like how it does have some movement. Even though it's not really going to matter because I'm just going to keep it in the box and have it, you know, displayed and everything. But I do like, though, that it does have that movement to throw in there. So, you know, they did buy this for someone that once had a box, they could possibly, you know, do poses and everything. So this is really cool. I've never, I don't think I've seen any of these figures. It does kind of look familiar, but I've never, like, they've never been anything you can like find you know widely they'd be like comic con things or something if they are what i am thinking of but this is just really cool that they have this again this was a target exclusive so you can find it on their website i assume they'll still be in stock by would also assume they made a limited like edition or run of them um so they're not going to be too common or anything but i did like this whole mix up with the nerds which of course i do watch some of like the nerds videos on youtube and stuff but i did think their like colors and stuff were red and yellow so i was kind of surprised this has a blue unless they've switched up their colors and i just haven't noticed yet but i always thought they were like red and yellow so like with this logo here this logo would be yellow and i think the back would be red or the opposite where this was red the back was yellow I can't remember for sure, but I know that goes along. But like I said, unless they change their colors to red and blue instead, I'm not really sure. But I do like this color because I like blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. So any of the forms of blue, especially these light blues, I really love that. And then the mixture of the red with it, it just looks super cool. So this is an awesome figure. And again, with all that team up, of, um, of course, this is the Tokyo Vino. And like I said, it's a mixture of Sa um, Saban, the Nerdist, and then designed by the Tumari or Tuma. I don't know, again, that's if even how you're supposed to say that or anything. But this looks super cool, and I love this figure. And was so glad that I, um, now that's out of the box, and I'm actually looking at it and stuff. I'm really glad that I was able to pick this up and get this and everything to add to my Power Ranger collection. So I think that's going to be it for this review of this cool-looking figure here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you would possibly be interested in giving this figure for yourself, or if you ha were able to get it, or if you're able to even find it on target anymore like I said it may be sold out like I said it didn't really seem like it's that popular of a thing and it is a more expensive figure but for a nine inch vinyl figure I think it's um, pretty cool and worth it and everything especially for as I guess exclusive as it is and stuff I think it's pretty cool so I want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Power Ranger videos and we will see you next time